questions I get asked a lot is, what should I feed my koi? That's a tricky question because there are a lot of manufactured koi foods on the market with a variety of ingredients and a variety of prices. Manufactured foods are good overall and very convenient, but they are processed and can be weak in vitamin and protein content and processed foods do produce a lot of waste. And of course, that waste goes through your koi and ends up in your pond water, putting a load on your pond ecosystem and your filter. Over the years, I've kept single koi in quarantine situations, and I noticed early on that processed koi food or pellets produce a lot of waste. In junior high terms, the koi poop a lot of it back out. But when I fed the quarantine koi earthworms only, they would digest and absorb everything. There was nearly no waste at all. The quarantine water stayed very clear. Our koi can eat a lot of the same things we eat which means they can eat a lot of the leftovers we throw out, or we can share our meals with them. I don't feed my koi red meat, chicken, pork, bacon, or cheese, but any seafood, fish, fruit, or vegetables can add a nutritious variety to their diet. Here are some of the leftovers or human foods I feed my koi and how I prepare them. Keep in mind, these foods save you money, are nutritious to your koi, Many are filled with good color enhancers and easily digestible protein. That produces very little poop, <laughs> very little waste. So your water will look amazing, less accumulation of debris, which can contribute to diseases, and your filter won't be overworked. Watermelon is a simple treat koi love. You can dice it up in small pieces, or slice a whole watermelon and let it float in the water for your koi to play with all day. Koi absolutely love boiled shrimp. They're loaded with protein for growth and big bodies. And the shells are a great natural color enhancer. Just boil the shrimp, either fresh or frozen, and give them whatever you're willing to share. Give them all the shells, legs and all. Just break them up into smaller sections and break the sharp dagger off the center of the tail. Don't feed them any cocktail sauce or seasoning. If you're cooking fresh salmon, give them any leftovers and feed them the skin. Just cut it up into small squares. Steamed broccoli. Crawdads, another great protein source and color enhancer. Feed them the heads, the tail shells, and anything else you're willing to spare, except the claws. They love these things, and it's a natural food for them that we happen to eat too.
frozen green peas. Just thaw them out in some warm water until they're soft. This is also a good emergency food if you run out of koi pellets. Just keep a bag handy in the freezer. Bobby the cat even loves peas and expects a few when I feed the koi. Also, feed them small amounts of leftover pasta noodles, clams, oysters, as well as other beans like kidney beans and lima beans, and of course earthworms. You'll notice with natural foods, your water will be more crisp and clear, and you're giving your koi variety in their diet, and likely entertainment too. <laughs>